Hi, this is Henry Chamberlain, and welcome to our May video blog. Um, I'd like to talk about industry collaboration in the place that we fondly like to call the place that real estate meets, which is BOMA's large conference room. Last Friday, I co-hosted a gathering of real estate executives, CEOs like myself. We had 26 of my colleagues here, trade associations around real estate, construction, the built environment design, We're really coming together once a year so that we can talk about our agendas the things that we're doing individually, the things that we can benchmark together. We do a benchmarking study around membership and participation and budgets, so we can all see how we're all doing. And membership's flat, participation tends to be up this year. But we also like to talk about a variety of different topics. Somewhere we collaborate, uh, how do we get people involved in this industry? Careers in real estate. Who's successfully bringing in the millennials, integrating them into the marketplace, working with the Xers, the boomers, many of the boomers are hanging on working longer hours because maybe their team isn't pulling their weight all the way. So how are you blending those people? And then what kind of training are you giving them? And in this age where technology is a bigger issue, it's getting more complicated, more asset management, financial analysis going on. What are the skills you're developing and who are developing those programs and doing that successfully? And then how could we collaborate as an industry, share information and train that workforce and attract the best talent to real estate and let the other industries fight for what's left over. So big discussion around that. Security, there are 10 groups uh, working with the Real Estate Roundtable that have a Real Estate ISAC working with the Department of Homeland Security. Well, for all the folks who aren't involved in that, what's the value in getting those kinds of security alerts throughout the year? The information on best practices and just the general information. Why do we do it? Should they get involved? Should they support the things we're doing? Uh, and then we talked here in Washington of course, advocacy, legislative issues. What are we all thinking about tax reform? Can we come up with a balanced approach probably in 2017 after we get the next election done? But how are we as an industry gonna coalesce around the issues that are important to us in the business that we're doing? And if we can in the interim with issues like leasehold depreciation that is a BOMA issue or carried interest, can we get those finalized so leasehold depreciation stays at 15 years with carried interest, real estate gets segregated away from the Wall Street folks that they really wanted to tax. Can we get those things done? And we just launched the Tenant Star Bill. Can we get that across the marketplace and can we all embrace that and really have a very robust rollout while we're doing that, while we're looking for energy incentives and all the rest. And in offices like these, talking to our friends at IRM and ASLA and ASID, well, they're looking at the new well program which is a new program for buildings for a high performance, but it's really a cultural shift in terms of creating a very healthy work environment. Most people don't know what that initiative is, so we get to learn about things like that from each other. So a great program. Jim Young was here talking about technology. We'd love to look at it in the future. Talked about a building in China, 57 stories they built in 19 days. He also talked about virtual concierge, robots, in an industry that's commoditizing, what's real estate gonna do to our workforce going forward. But what I wanna do at the end of the day is say to you, while we work individually, we know each other, we do collaborate where it makes sense. And I'm very proud to be part of what we call the Association Summit and get to work with the Brain Trust, the, the Chief Staff Officers for a lot of groups. And it's something that this industry does uniquely and it brings a lot of value forward. Thank you.